Hey everybody, thanks for joining me on KCQ, where we explore Kansas City Barbecue. This is Jenny, and today we are visiting Fiorella's Jack Stack Barbecue. In 1957, Russ Fiorello sold a few barbecue items from his storefront, and Jack Stack Barbecue was born. Jack Stack is now on its fourth generation of family members running the restaurant. They ship barbecue nationwide through their website, and they currently have five locations. The original location was opened in Martin City, Missouri in 1974 by Russ's son and his daughter-in-law. They opened the Overland Park location next, which is right off of 95th and Medcalf, followed by a location at the Freight House, which is just north of the Union Station, and then a location at the Country Club Plaza, where they took over the old Kansas City Masterpiece restaurant. The most recent addition has been a location in Lee Summit, Missouri. When you visit Jack Sack for a meal, they have a lot of variety. A really big menu, and they're one of the more upscale barbecue restaurants offered in Kansas City. The service is very good, and I think that's consistent with every location. The restaurants are family friendly, and they use a lot of low lighting and artwork that separates it from other barbecue restaurants. Now that we've talked about the atmosphere, let's talk about the food. Jack Sack features a few salads you could start your meal with or have as a main course, like their spinach salad or their smoked chicken and goat cheese salad. If we're talking appetizers, Jack Stack features six options that are all delicious, but the standouts for me are the fire-kissed wings, the fried mushrooms with an awesome horseradish sauce, and the smoked jalapeno cheddar cornbread, which is served warm in a cast iron skillet with honey butter, and you can enjoy all through your meal. Jack Sack has a pretty decent drink menu. They have about two dozen wine options by the glass or bottle. They also have the same number of beers and feature domestic and import beer, as well as brews from Boulevard, Casey Beer, and Martin City Brewing. For specialty cocktails, they have a nice variety, and they use Tomstown Vodka or Rieger's Kansas City Whiskey in some of their libations, which is kind of cool that they use local spirits in the drinks they feature. I recommend the Strawberry Shandy Cocktail, which is delicious and has strawberries, vodka, and Boulevard Tank Beer. For main meals, Jack Stack offers the barbecue standards, pulled pork, barbecued chicken and sliced meat like brisket, ham, and turkey. These are all seasoned well and served with a side of barbecue sauce. Jack Stack features three sauces, the original, hot, and spicy. I find Jack Stack sauce to have a vinegary kick and a tanginess that I just love. It's not overly sweet as some sauces can be. And being a person that eats mild food, I can't vouch for how spicy the spicy or hot sauce is, but it's very popular. And all of these are available commercially in the supermarket or in the restaurant. Jack Stack features about a dozen sandwiches on both their lunch and dinner menu. My favorites are the poor Russ, which is chopped burnt ends on a sandwich, one of the best barbecue sandwiches I've ever had. Or if you like spicy, the smoking Russ, which takes the burnt ends with spicy barbecue sauce, diced jalapenos, cheddar and jack cheese or they have a French dip that is made with their prime rib and just melts in your mouth. Now the offerings for ribs are a whole nother story. Jack Stack Barbecue is one of the few places that features crown prime beef ribs which take an enormous amount of effort to cook. They also have regular beef ribs, pork ribs, and have won awards for their lamb ribs which are so tender and are my favorite of all their choices. These are very good and they can be ordered individually or all at once in a combo like I did on my last visit. One of the ways Jack Stack really stands out is with their hickory grilled meats. Jack Stack Barbecue specializes in wood smoked barbecue and they use a combination of hickory wood and oak to ensure it burns longer. Main meat courses are a grilled pork chop, salmon, trout, their prime rib, which is only featured on the dinner menu, and filet mignon. 
and some of these are as good as options you would find in any good Kansas City Steakhouse. My favorite is the amazing barbecue shrimp. The shrimp comes in a cast iron skillet, it's cooked in a chili seasoned butter, and is served with bread and a grilled lemon. As I mentioned previously, you can also get the barbecue shrimp as an appetizer, and I would definitely try it if you are a shrimp lover. And of course, as with any true Kansas City barbecue restaurant, they offer burnt ends. Burnt ends are a Kansas City tradition and generally have a large amount of char or burnt surface that gives it the distinct flavor burnt in lovers look for. I'm gonna include a video link below if you'd like to learn more about this Kansas City barbecue delicacy. There is some controversy around it and it's kind of interesting to see different people's viewpoints. These are pretty good at Jack Stack, and they are mixed with more tender, meaty chunks of brisket when you get them. Now for one of my favorite categories, the side dishes. At Jack Stack, you can have a classic side or a signature side. Some of the classic selections are coleslaw, which is extremely sweet at Jack Stack, french fries, which are served crisp and hot and have their own seasoning at the table, potato salad, which I find very good, the hickory pit beans, which are smoky, sweet, and have little chunks of meat in them. And the most controversial side in the classic category is the cheesy corn bake. It is corn that's baked in kind of a processed cheese sauce with chunks of ham. People either seem to love or hate the cheesy corn bake. And some of the reviews on Yelp are pretty great. Now the signature sides, which are a dollar more, are some of my favorites. The cheesy potato bake is just so rich and you probably won't be able to finish it all. You can get a loaded baked potato with any toppings that you want. They have a broccoli with roasted garlic butter, which I get often, but I never actually taste the garlic in the garlic butter, and a veggie kebab, which is grilled over wood and tastes great. Finally, let's talk about the desserts. At Jack Stack, they have a triple chocolate brownie, creme brulee, sometimes they have a key lime pie, and my personal favorite is Mom's Carrot Cake. Both the cake and the cream cheese frosting is served warm, and several people can eat it. If you're looking for a dessert recommendation, this is it. I like all the Jack Stack locations, but if you're going for a night on the town or looking to make it a date night, then I would recommend the Freight House or Plaza location. Both of these have a lot of walkability where you can ride the light rail down to Power and Light, you can explore the plaza, you can do a lot of stuff with your family or just adults only. That's going to wrap up our, this episode of KCQ. Thanks so much for tuning in with me. And if you like listening to barbecue as much as I like eating it, please subscribe to our channel. I'll have a new video every couple of weeks. Below are some pasted links to give you more information about Kansas City barbecue or Jack Stack barbecue. See you next time.